In prehistoric times, Gansu was host to a number of Neolithic cultures, the Dadawan culture, from where numerous archaeologically significant artifacts have been excavated. Flourished in the eastern end of Gansu from about 6000 BC to about 3000 BC, the Majao culture and part of the Kiji culture also took root in Gansu from 3100 BC to 2700 BC and 2400 BC to 1900 BC respectively. Gansu has an area of 454,000 square kilometers, 175,000 square miles, and the vast majority of its land is more than 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet above sea level. It lies between the Tibetan Plateau and the lowest plateau bordering Mongolia, Gobi Altai province to the northwest, Inner Mongolia and Ningxia to the north, Shaanxi to the east, Sichuan to the south and Xinjiang to the west. The Yellow River passes through the southern part of the province. The province contains the geographical center of China, marked by the center of the country monument at 35 degrees 50 minutes 40.9 seconds north 103 degrees 27 minutes 7.5 seconds east. Agricultural production includes cotton, linseed oil, maize, melons, such as the honeydew melon, known locally as the Balin melon or Wallace, due to its introduction by U.S. Vice President Henry A. Wallace, millet, and wheat. Gansu is known as a source for wild medicinal herbs which are used in Chinese medicine. Gansu province is home to 30,711,287 people. Most of the population, 73%, is still rural. Gansu is 92% Han and also has Hui, Tibetan, Dongshang, Tu, Manchu, Air, Uyghur, Bonan, Mongolian, Salar, and Kazakh minorities. Prior to the Panthe Rebellion and the Dungan Revolt, Gansu province had a large community of Chinese Hui Muslims, which was almost decimated by Qing authorities. Gansu is also a historical home, along with Shaanxi of the dialect of the Dungans, who migrated to Central Asia. The southwestern corner of Gansu is home to a large ethnic Tibetan population. Jiayaguain Pass in Jiayaguain City is the largest and most intact pass or entrance of the Great Wall. Jiayaguain Pass was built in the early Ming Dynasty, somewhere around the year 1372. It was built near an oasis that was then on the extreme western edge of China. Jiayaguain Pass was the first pass on the west end of the Great Wall so it earned the name, the first, and greatest pass under heaven.